Those years had been extremely challenging for an entire world. It changed the way we will live, behave and communicate. COVID-19 showed us how crucially important science is, and the past result, it is really short and limited. This pandemic showed us a huge need of moving forward as a species and intellectual, right-minded creatures. Mankind might see a huge troubles and issues that this pandemic created, and yes, this pandemic caused huge consequences globally, not only for humankind, but all the living creatures on Earth. But I think that pros might be tremendous compared to cons if we use this technology in a right and correct way. The hugest trouble is that when we say viruses, people imagine trouble making deadly tools of nature, which might wipe off literally everything and exterminate every living creature on Earth. What I see in viruses is just the tools of science. A genetic vehicle used to transport a genetic information or nucleotide sequences into a target cells. Viral lecture is just a fancy way of saying viruses, which are being used for transducing target cells. But first of all, what are viruses actually? Viruses are pretty simple things. They are literally made of membranes called capsids and genetic information which are gonna be transferred into a target cells. Outside of membrane, viruses contain spikes, which are capable of taking genetic information into a cells. There are four main types of viral vectors. First, retroviral vectors. Those type of vectors transduce only dividing cells, aka they can be used for transducing non-dividing cells. Retroviral vectors pierce right into a cell nucleus into a host genome. Transfer genomes are single-stranded RNA. Retroviruses are beneficial for long-term effects. Second one is lentoviruses. Those are literally the same as retroviral vectors. The only difference is that lentoviruses are able to transduce not only dividing, but also non-dividing cells. Besides them, there are adenoviral and adeno-associated viral vectors. They both transfer DNA instead of RNA. They don't require cells to be in a dividing state, but their efficiency are short-handed and they don't integrate into a host genome. One of the reasons that viruses are good vectors is that they divide extremely fast and the transduction of cells are tremendously straightforward. In order to accomplish cell transduction of a single cellular organism, it will need to remove this organism from a growth medium or nutritional environment. With the help of viral vectors, you can literally transfer any kind of genetic information into your host cells, whether it should be a resistance to a certain disease, or even changing your eye color or intelligence, or even altering a biological clock. Possibilities are limitless, and I really think that this technology is the key to a healthy and hopeful future. Future where science and technology serves to happiness of mankind, and the world where every human being feels needed and has their own sense of purpose.